Hello everyone and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. The problem which we are going to see today is to find the number occurring odd number of times. So in this problem, we will be basically uh, given an array of positive integers and all the numbers will occur even number of times except just one number. So that one number will be occurring odd number of times. So for example, we have this array. So let's see. Uh, one is here and here so it's occurring two times that's even number of times then we see two so one two so two is occurring again twice so that is even number of times but three is occurring three times so that is it's occurring the odd number of times so we basically have to output three so kind of an easy problem uh, let's look at the solutions so the simple brute force solution uh, would be to run two nested loops. The outer loop will pick all the elements one by one and the inner loop counts the number of occurrences picked up by the, uh, of the element picked up by the outer loop. So in this solution, we will be basically running two loops and thus the time complexity of this solution will be order of n square because we are running one loop inside the another loop. Now we can have a better solution. Uh, the better solution is uh, to use hashing. Uh, in this, uh, you'll basically uh, have the array elements as keys and their counts as value. So as you know, the ha in hashing, you have uh, key value pairs. So the array elements will act as the uh, key and their counts will be basically acting as the value. So uh, we will basically be firstly creating an empty hash table and then you will start iterating over the array one by one. So you traverse the given array and uh, you basically store the counts um, by traversing it. So uh, from the st uh, starting from the first element to the last element, you will first basically uh, check if the uh, element is already a key in the hash table. If it's not, you will enter it. If it's there already, you will just increase the uh, count value there. So the time complexity of this solution will be order of n uh, as opposed to the previous solution where we were using two loops and thus the time complexity was order of n square. But uh, there is an overhead here that it requires an extra space for hashing. And uh, uh, so it is uh, still better than the solution one, but still it requires some extra space. So uh, there is another solution where we will not require extra space. Uh, so we call this the uh, best solution. So in this best solution, we'll be, uh, basically uh, use uh, XOR operator, the bitwise XOR. Uh, so let's see how we can do that. So we'll basically do an XOR of all the elements. And in the end, it will give us the odd occurring, uh, the element which, will, which is occurring odd number of times. So let's see how it uh, how it does that and why it does that basically. So XOR of two elements is zero if both the elements are same. So uh, whatever elements are occurring uh, even number of times, so uh, their XOR will become automatically zero. And when that zero will be having an XOR with our element, uh, which is occurring odd number of times, then the number itself is the output. So when we do the XOR of all the elements, we will be basically left with our uh, element which is occurring odd number of times and thus we'll get the solution. So the time complexity of this solution is order of n. Uh, it is same as the previous solution, but we do not require any extra uh, space. So let's see uh, how it, uh, its code will look like. So here we have the driver function. It has the array, the input array. We calculated the size and then we basically called get odd occurrence, which has the array and the size. So let's go to uh, get odd occurrence. Uh, in this method, we are uh, having the parameters, input parameters as array and its size. And then you have uh, int i to for the for loop. Then you have a result variable res, which you have initialized to zero. Then you uh, basically run a for loop over all the elements. 
and you keep doing an XOR for uh, the elements. So we are we have initialized its value uh, the value of res with zero because we are uh, doing the uh, XOR op uh, we are using the XOR operator here and if we uh, do not initialize it with zero so initially the rest variable will basically have junk value and it uh, it will temper the uh, solution so we initialize it with zero and then we just run a loop and we basically uh, do an XOR of all the elements and in the end we will be left with only the uh, element occurring odd number of times and thus we return it okay so uh, in summary we uh, discussed three methods the first method is a simple solution but it has the time complexity of order of n square not very good uh, then we had a better solution uh, which had the time complexity of order of n but it used some extra space for hashing so we can do better actually the best solution is the one where we are using the XOR operator and that does the job in order of n time complexity and doesn't need any extra space so that is all for this uh, video uh, you can visit this link to uh, access all the material in this tutorial and also run the code through the uh, id available on geeks or geeks website uh, thank you very much